there are more living organisms in this handful of soil than there are humans in the world. Eight billion microbes, fungi, and invertebrates are found in just a single teaspoon. They're processing nutrients, they're breaking down organic matter, and creating the foundation for 95% of our world's food production. And you, you used to know how to read this. So what happens? For four million years, humans could tell you the health of an ecosystem from a handful of dirt. We knew that dark soil holds 25% more moisture content than light soil, and certain smells meant nitrogen-fixing bacteria, and specific textures meant clay content and drainage. They could detect soil pH by taste, moisture content by feel, and fertility by the plants growing around them. It was survival science. But here is what modern science is just now uncovering. We didn't just live on the soil, we co-evolved with it. Our gut microbiome shares 70% of its bacterial families with healthy soil. Research shows that children who grow up on farms have 40% lower rates of asthma and allergies. Kids with the most diverse gut bacteria were the ones who also spent the most time outdoors all day, most likely hands in the dirt. There's a soil bacterium called Mycobacterium vacae that increases serotonin production in the brain. It's found in healthy soil worldwide and actually acts like an antidepressant when you inhale it. Studies from the University of Colorado show that contact with this bacterium can reduce anxiety and improve cognitive function for up to three weeks. We've lost 75% of soil diversity in agricultural areas. One half of our topsoil disappeared in the last 150 years. We've been treating living ecosystems like factory floors. Thank the industrial age. But we've been living in sterile environments for three generations and our health data shows the cost. The average American now spends 93% of their time indoors. We've also reduced human contact with soil by 90% in just 50 years. And the results just keep coming in. Autoimmune disease, for example, has gone up by 300% since 1950. And we've been trained to fear the very microbes that have kept our ancestors healthy. The hygiene hypothesis suggests that we're over-sanitizing ourselves into illness. Reconnecting starts with direct contact. Research shows that 40 minutes of bare skin with earth can reduce cortisol levels by 23% and improve sleep quality. But soil has something that we've forgotten, resilience. One gram of healthy soil can bounce back from almost anything if we give it a chance. Learn to read soil again. Dark soil has three to 5% organic matter. Light, sandy soil, it drains fast, so it needs more nutrients. That smell after the rain, that's geosamin produced by Streptomyces bacterium. It's been triggering positive responses in humans for millennia. Garden without gloves when you can. Teach the kids it's okay to go outside and play in the mud. The earth carries a negative electrical charge. Human bodies accumulate a positive electrical charge from electronics and synthetic materials. So we need direct earth contact to help balance our electricity. Because every handful of soil you understand reconnects you to the planet's largest living system. Mycorrhizal fungi connect the roots of 75% of plants. A single fungal network can span hundreds of miles, connecting 
hundreds of trees and thousands of plant species. These networks transfer 4 billion tons of carbon annually between plants and soil. They share nutrients, water, and chemical information about threats. A mother tree can support her seedlings through this network for many years. Soil contains 2.5 times more carbon than all of the terrestrial vegetation and atmosphere combined. Healthy soil can sequester one to two tons of CO2 per acre per year. One cubic foot of healthy soil contains millions of living organisms, including bacteria, fungi, protozoa, nematodes, arthropods, and earthworms, all working together. And you can join this system, not just by an observer, but as a participant. Okay. Every time you compost, you're feeding billions of soil microorganisms. Compost increases soil life by 1,000% and water retention by 65%. It's the most direct way to heal our degraded earth. plant native species. They've co-evolved with the local soil for thousands of years. You can also reduce tilling. It destroys the fungal networks. That can take years to rebuild and support regenerative agriculture. It actually rebuilds the soil rates at one to two inches per decade instead of losing it. You can teach kids to test soil pH with litmus strips to identify earthworms and beneficial insects and to even smell the difference between healthy and depleted earth. You could start with one square foot of soil. Heck, you can even start with one potted plant. Learn its inhabitants. Watch how it changes with the seasons. Track its moisture, temperature, and the life signs. You remember that you're not separate from the ecosystem. You're part of it. Your microbiome diversifies, your stress levels drop, and your immune system raises. Every connection you make with soil is a connection with the whole system that makes terrestrial life possible. The living ground beneath our feet supports 95% of food production. It also stores 33% of global carbon and filters 99% of our fresh water. The question isn't do we need healthy soil or not. The question is are you ready to start doing something about it?